Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another techie video. If you've never been here, thanks for stopping in to check out this video or my channel. So I found this really cool thing. Um, not sure, I think we've all been in the situation where you know you type in a web address and it takes a little bit longer than we think it should um you know to get to that website or maybe you're kind of worried about your internet security when browsing online or whatever um so if so let's take a look at cloudfares 1.1.1.1 dns service uh 1.1.1.1 which i'm just gonna call it one dot from now on um, basically it's it, it, what it is it's a DNS service resolver and it's provided by this company here Cloudfare and um, unlike other DNS resolvers I mean there's multiples that you can choose from um, I like this one by the way not a paid advertisement not a paid promotion they did not reach out and ask me to do this video I just happen to like this service um, so continuing, what what I like about them is they do not sell user data to advertisers. And it's also been said uh, among some testing of other tech YouTubers that this is one of the fastest DNS resolvers available, potentially speeding up like your wait time when you go to enter a website. So I put the link down in the description below if you want to check it out there's literally nothing to install it's just uh, some configurations uh, in your computer and i will show that later but in the meantime let's take a look at some other benefits to the cloudfare one dot dns service now let's talk about some of the benefits of cloudfare's 1.1.1.1 dns service first off security cloudfare uses name minimization and what that means is that they include only the information required to resolve your query. They discard everything else. Of course, privacy. Cloudfare is awesome in the way that they only keep logs for 24 hours and then they purge absolutely everything. And an important factor, uh, performance. Cloudfare has actually been shown to load your web pages faster than your internet service providers issued DNS. And of course the cost. Thankfully, Cloudfare is 100% completely free to use. And lastly, setup. Thankfully, Cloudfare is extremely easy to set up. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Okay guys, so as far as setting this, setting this up, it, it's actually very, very simple. Um, I'm on Windows 11 here. I'm actually remoted into my laptop just because showing you this is gonna be a little easier on my laptop because here on my desktop, um, my networks, I have a lot of them and it's just kind of a mess. But anyway, so yeah, you're gonna to want to go into your network and sharing center, which you can get to just by clicking your start button down there and typing network and sharing center. It should come right up. That will bring you to this page here and it will show what network you're connected to. So from here, all you have to do is click on this and you'll get this pop-up box and then hit properties. And when you do that, you're gonna get this little box right here. So most of you use the internet protocol version uh, for the TCP IP V4. So you're gonna click on that and you're just gonna click properties. And you're gonna get this box and all you're going to do, this is so super simple guys, is go down here to use the following DNS server addresses. You're gonna click that and then in here in your preferred DNS, you're gonna type one and then move over with your right arrow key, dot one, dot one, dot one. And then in the alternate down here, you're gonna, their alternate address is one dot zero dot zero dot one. And then when you do that, all you do is click OK. Now this system that you are on is running the Cloudfares one dot service, a DNS service on here. So it'll be a little more secure for you and it should be a little bit faster when trying to resolve a website. Now some of you may be thinking, why can't I just go into the router and make this change and then it will take effect on all my devices? 
And you're absolutely correct. In, in fact, that's the way that I suggest that you do this. The only reason I showed you the other way is because sometimes you might be in a situation where you can't do that. You might be staying at a friend's house. You have access to, uh, you know, his Wi-Fi, but he hasn't done any of this. And, you know, then your privacy is still vulnerable, like if you're on your laptop or whatever. Um, so, yeah, if you have your own router and instead of going to each device to configure the DNS on there, all you got to do is log into your router. And mine is an, an ASUS uh, router. And so this is the layout of mine. But you got to go under WAN and then WAN DNS settings here. And then you put those settings in the DNS server one, DNS server two here, and then save these, the, uh, the configuration, save the settings, and then you should be good to go. So that's about it, it guys. Um, like I said, it's, it makes things a little bit quicker or are supposed to, but the biggest thing for me is they don't sell your user data to advertisers like your, your internet service provider does. And uh, so it's just a little bit more private. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I appreciate you guys watching. If this helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, consider doing so for more content. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.